Hello again. How is everyone doing? It's me. Who else could it be? We had a short stream earlier. We are having another short stream now. Since I'm back. So we were on board the Palamecia. Trying to get to Dicely. Oh my god, I forgot this. Why don't wants to mute it? Really? I fucking hate this sound. So there are three levels, out, middle, and in. Okay, let's kill the soldiers before the big chungus. Keep your mind on the battle. Shit. Diversity. Thank you. Back to relentless assault. Maybe another cycle of Relentless? Oh, come on. Does it make the whoosh sound? Or is this fog? Are those three of them? Leave lightning alone for a bit. Kill me. Hate 
Yo. And his heals are absolute dog shit. I need a higher tier cure. Is it me or am I getting more ATB for my actions now? Launch. really wants to mute the stupid annoying alarm back to aggression well we never really use aggression this fight because when I use two commanders Fang is like fuck you I'm gonna attack something else why because fuck you that's why difficult fight to be honest and that's my objective which I'm not going to do yet okay just stagger it the meat slinky. Kill it. It's more annoying than the others, I think. It lasts too long. Just die. What now? Fuck was that? Um, hope? Heal?
We have the stuff we need from Saboteur for now. Sentinel. Yes, we can work with Sentinel. Renew wouldn't hurt. Not that we are going to use it when she's not the party leader. Dude, how many of you are there? Turn around. Sit. Turn around. You know what to do. See hope when you stand far away, you don't get hurt. Amazing, right? Genius. No one could have predicted something like that would happen. Dampener. Not seeing any items in the middle. Oh, we just looped around. Cool. remember what Ravish did. I should double check. Because I see Fang use it. Oh, we, we're losing frames. A lot of frames lost today, earlier as well as now.
heal a little bit. Back to Relentless. We should be able to launch and kill. Not sure if I want to fight everything in the middle section. Okay, this guy is not going to move, is he? Nope. He does not want to move. This enemy is not for turning. Kill the Huntress. Die, Huntress. You don't belong in this world. These things always go for hope. to stop it from falling. Word of Cross Sight. I think that's an upgrade thing. Tricks respond. Oh, he was not turned around. Well. They're a little more annoying without preemptive. So I'm just gonna try and preempt the attack 
I really like how you can retry a battle. Once we have two, I think we can go back to Relentless Assault. Assuming they don't all just gang up on one person, which they all want to do. jump up Fang I guess we'll have to heal Shiro. Have you come to hear this amazing alarm that's blaring? Is this amazing?
Let's level up, Commander. Let's rain. Some stay dry, others feel the pain. Demand flexibility. Code white. Is it code white because it's based on European history and culture? to the right. There are 99 safe slots that you can keep. Um, what was that? Turn around. Do it. Treasure. And I see another treasure there. 
Turn around. No one likes you. Go. <laughs> Two of them. see any other treasure. Dual casting and just go all in. Oh, it doesn't put up. Oh. I was about to say, why doesn't it put up the armor again? It does. It was just delayed.
Also, I didn't mention earlier, but it was obvious that Saz didn't kill himself because he just learned the Eidolon. Oh, great. Oh, only one. I want to kill it fast, buff up. Heal yourself, Vanille. Decent damage. Are we back to lightning? Yep. The wind, it's dying down. Yeah, it's stopping. And we're decelerating. Are they up to something? I don't suppose it could just be, I don't know, good luck? That Definitely good luck. Bad luck. You got a point. Not to me. That, that we can do something about. tables. Hey, feet stop working? That's a lot of enemies. Yeah, 
Yeah, this part is pretty powerful at the moment. For very obvious reasons. Equipment. Oh, come on. Kill them. Somebody other than Hope, for once. Whistle wind scarf, let me guess. Wind resistance? ATP advantages. Charge a single ATP gauge segment prior to battle. Mm. ATP rate plus 10%, that is not too bad. Wait for it re to return and then ambush it. a lot of enemies. Kill the dragoons. Ah! 
Can't even see him anymore. Same fight. On your toes. Fucking heal. No. Not Fang. Lightning. Keep your mind on the battle. I hate how when you swap. They decide to do the swap animation for longer than necessary. And they don't do the action you swap them for. It in heal fang. I wish I could cancel the animation. The animation is only shorter if you've already swapped to the thing before, but there just isn't a way to do it other than that. You swap to that uh, paradigm doing that battle, it's gonna be quicker next time. them looking at me. Oh, the others are with them. And hello, Thomas. 
how are we doing today? Great. I love getting hit by AoEs because my party is too stupid to spread out. Oh, absence to him? Why? Who's been keeping you up at night? Was it Daniil? Oh, first shift. Get up, hope. Here. Thanks. Didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies in these groups. Why doesn't she use AoE when the enemies are gathered? Thomas is giddy with the points now. Heal. I know you have ATB. Still have ATB hope, just get up and use it. Thanks. Also, I hate how they the casters, especially with fire, if they use fire, they're gonna spam it even if the enemy dies with the first fireball. Didn't even break a sweat. With lightning it's different. I mean thunder, not lightning. I'm not talking about the character. Ravage Bolster Blitz or Ring of the of Attack you when Ravager is present. Okay, that's what it does. Okay, we have a save point. Yay! Every game should allow scrolling by if I go if I press left now it should give me the maximum. I played 82 games. No, I've definitely played more than that. Definitely more than that. I've been keeping count in a way. I mean I pulled up a list and yeah, the site is not very accurate. Hmm. I made a list and 
let's see in no particular order i have about i think 90 90 games so far on the list final fantasy 16 15 uh 10 chicken police is uh it's on the list oh i think i know why it's counting 82 some of the games are packaged together namely the Kingdom Hearts, I think, maybe Kingdom Hearts, one's um, Mass Effect. Chicken Police is kind of a visual novel slash um, point and click. You play as two Chicken Police. They don't cluck around. It was actually pretty decent. I expected it to be a lot worse. It's pretty good. Let's see the list. Final Fantasy 16, 15, 10, 10, 2, 7 Remake, uh, Stranger of Paradise, God of War, God of War Ragnarok, Rise and Zero Dawn, Tunic, Control, Hollow Knight, Ori and the Blind Forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, The Last of Us, Lost Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Either Somnium Files, Either Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, 4 to 8 Shibuya Scramble, Neo 2, Wolong, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and 4, Portable Ops, On Metal, Lifeline, Shadow Hearts, Shadow Hearts 2, Kodelka, Tales of Zestiria, Tales of Berseria, Ta Talos Principle, Superliminal, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Xenoblade 1, 2, 3, um, Yakuza 0, Kiwami, Kiwami 2, 5, 6, 7, Ishin, Judge Eyes, Judgment, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Devil May Cry 5, Elden Ring, Persona 5 Royal, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Mars Morales, Buxnack, Astro's Playroom, Ghost of, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Shinmu 1, Shinmu 2, Kingdom Hearts, Chains of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2, Breath by Sleep 3, Dream Drop Distance, Super Mario Odyssey, Ghost Trick, Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, Stray, Alundra, Alundra 2, the Messenger, Ghost of Tsushima, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Chicken Police, Plague's Tale Innocence, Blasphemous, Entropy Center, Grease, Super One More Jump. And that's not counting games I have not finished, including um, Mario and Rabbids, um, Uncharted, Lost Legacy, things like that. Your list is accurate. How many are on your list? Also, it doesn't count games that I... Well, yeah, there are plenty of games I did not finish. Say it's 52. See, that is a lot. I mean, seven years for me compared to your... How many years now? See, on average, you're streaming more games than I am. Also, it didn't count um, games that I played for, like old games, Atari 2600, uh, MSX, all of these older games that, that I played two birthdays ago. None of them were listed in the category. It's I think it's only under retro. So yeah, plenty of things that were not included. I wish I could check the map properly. I'm wondering which path is best. I don't think there's much of a difference. Three tiny drones versus these others. Oh, 
Average of 26 on Metal Gear 4? Nah. First stream, it did say 100, but I'm pretty sure there were... Not 100 people, for real. And it wasn't the average. It started like that and then quickly went down. The highest average I know for sure is... Uh, Neo 2, and I know for sure there were over 70 people then. It doesn't happen often. Because when Neo 2 came out, I probably was the only person on Twitch who was streaming it at the time. Because I got it a day earlier than other people. So I had plenty of people who jumped on like... How did you get the game? You're gonna get banned. No, I got it legit. This station. Another one that I had a decent turnout for on the first stream was uh, Shenmue 1. I think the average was 24. But yeah, if you look at the follower numbers, I'm pretty sure it's keeping track of those, Thomas. Look how much it flatlines. <laughs> Also, the, I'm pretty sure it would also, also show the months and months I didn't stream. Because there were a lot of times where I just did not stream at all. Oh, there is an item down there. How do I get down? Ah. Yeah, my channel is pretty stagnant in terms of uh, growth. Come down. Gil. It's a pretty big area. I think it probably will mention Neo 2, at least the first stream. What the fuck is Hope doing? He's just standing, doing nothing. Yeah, healer is absolute dog shit in this game. Oh, it just mentions the max viewers. Yeah, Twitch to the 6 is not great. I think... The few times I checked it, the follower numbers were not accurate. It's more accurate for bigger streamers, I think. It prioritizes checking their stats over affiliates or non-affiliates. Heal. Good. Thanks. Change of plan. 
Now you're making me curious to see what else it says. I don't really... I used to check their sites years ago, but I stopped checking them. There are a few sites, I think. in April 2008 I'm looking at the stuff here and it just says uh, okay from January well February 2021 all the way to January 2022 it doesn't show any streams even though I know I no, it shows two streams um, Actually, if you include J January 2021, it shows three streams total. Um, it doesn't show anything before January 2018. And uh, yeah, there are plenty of gaps for me. July 2019 to about January 2020, no streams. And yeah, it does say 82 games. It has stream time distribution, Xenoblade 2 being the longest. And then average followers per hour is pretty low. Why am I not surprised? And it says total activity 263 out of 1,900 days. So that is not even... That is like one... Maybe 15%? Followers is pretty stagnant. Which is about accurate. I think I stayed close to 200 for quite a few, maybe two years. Nothing I can't handle. But yeah, I'm putting the list together, also putting information as to whether I have completed game, a game or not, whether the VODs are available or not. I mean, um, Jomaru wanted me to put my opinion on each game, but if I'm less lazy, I might do it. Hardly worth the effort.
almost missed a chest or, or treasure thingy. But yeah, I'm not actually too surprised my numbers in terms of number of games is not too different from yours considering how many breaks I took. Good job, Hope. Good fucking job. I remember this area being a thing. Also, I remember Vanille and Saz being in some kind of a train tunnel area, but I guess I was wrong. Dude, just open the damn thing. Fight started, Hope did nothing. What is he doing? Thanks. Wow, one cure after all this time. Is he taking the piss? What the fuck is wrong with this kid? No wonder your mother chose death over staying with you. What an imbecile. I'm pretty sure you remember the boss of this chapter, Thomas. Everybody remembers the boss of this chapter. Unless they have too many instances of PTSD with this game, then they try to forget. Wow, two phoenixes because Hope is a terrible medic. I'm not surprised, zero stars. I replayed this up until around where it opens up again several years ago. Around the time of Lightning Returns, I think. So Light, how you figure this makes us lucky? Because when we kill it, we're one step closer to Vanille. How's that? Well, when you put it that way... Alright. He's slow? Good. I should probably Libra it. Absorbs lightning. Halves wind and physical. Hope. Why is this guy so slow? He's not very bright, is he? I remember this fight being a pain, but so far it seems fairly easy. You see that, Thomas? Fang jumped in the air, swung the weapon, she missed. She moved forward mid-air and swung again. She missed again, but then she kept moving forward. Unlike Final Fantasy VII Remake, where you jump, miss, you land, you chase the enemy, jump, miss, land, chase the enemy again, rinse and repeat. How can a turn-based game have better aerial combat than that one?
No, the combat there is absolute garbage. The battle system in this is not amazing. It's not terrible either. The main issue is with it, the animation lock when you try to swap paradigms. Except that one is not the same ATB as this. It's not turn based. It has ATB, but it's not turn based. There you are. Miss me? You the monster! Where? Okay, buff. Hope. What are you doing? Why is he such an idiot? He's not healing, he's not buffing, he's just standing. Idiotically. And here is another problem. Saboteur, once they've applied all the Thank you. debuffs they have on the enemy, the ones that they're not resistant to, they stop doing anything. And it's the same with synergists. Instead of reapplying the buffs, they just stand. This is easier with ball light, uh, thunder. In your own time, stagger it. Hello, anyone? How is she getting hurt by staggered enemy? Lightning's textures are flickering. And out in the open? You've still got time. Bang! There's... There's something I need to tell you. Making me worry like that. We'll talk later, Missy. First lesbian couple in the series. And last. So far. Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, uh, what's on the agenda? Uh, toppling the sanctum? No. I mean, really. He's serious. We're gonna take down the sanctum and give Cocoon back to the people. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. If we pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Well, good thing Lady Luck's on our side. <laughs> Clearly. More of them? Yeah, this is getting really old. Check this out. A miracle. Grand Pulse style. 
Also, it, earlier in development, Fang was meant to be a guy. Probably why the relationship is pretty much romantic, I think. Very cute owl. Yeah, Fang is pretty much a... Well, the closest thing to a dragon. She's a spear user in this game. But, I mean, she has a commando uh, role, which is an attacker role. Since dragons are not really a thing, and well, there are, there are enemy dragons. But they're not the same dragons. Well, they let Saz ride on the back of the... Bird. You got it. Yeah. Wow. I had my doubts, but I also believe that. If we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. My favorite is how they forgot to give Barrett the ability to jump. They just forgot it. There was no way it was intentional. So let's survive this first, yeah? Right. Oh god, at the end of this room is hell. Because Barrett has melee weapons. If he has those equipped and you face a flying enemy or boss, as it once happened to me, there is no way to hurt it. You can change the composition of your battle team by pressing triangle to open the main menu and then selecting paradigms. Within the paradigms menu, select battle team and you will be able to choose the battle team's leader and members. Changing the members of your battle team will reset the party's paradigm deck. Select customize to check your current paradigm and alter it if desired. Probably gonna keep the same. Except, how would you know a flying enemy is coming? A b flying boss is coming if you have not played it before. You have it equipped, you go into a boss fight, and suddenly it's. flying boss. Which is what happened to me as I was getting to the Shinra Tower. Uh, except like 95% of the game you can't actually change party members and that was one part where you can't change party members you only had Cloud, Tifa and Barrett. Keep up Thomas. Yeah, and then Barrett would still be standing there doing nothing even if you control Cloud and Tifa. It doesn't solve the problem if you control a different part person. It's not really trial and error if they just forgot to give him a jump animation. It's not mentioned anywhere about the party that this character has a jump ability. It doesn't mention it for Cloud, it doesn't mention it for Tifa either. But it's there.
That is not the same thing. That is part of strategy. It's not a missing function. It's like it's like if you play this game and you swap to Snow as a commando and suddenly he doesn't jump to attack enemies. It's like, wait a minute, why? Oh, they just forgot. That's what it is. It's nowhere near the same thing as uh, not being able to defend against the status effect because the boss uses it and you didn't know. Okay, so it makes sense for Cloud and Tifa to jump up several meters in the air. So you're saying in the next game, Kishi is not going to be able to jump because it's big, right? That's what we're saying, right? Because if we're saying this, I'm going to call you out on it if it does allow Kishi to jump next year. Yeah, I'm not talking about Sid. And also, Sid is an older man, so he shouldn't be able to jump, by your logic. Hmm. Should I level Medic a little? Kitschy, the cat doll thing. Controlled by what's his face in the Shinra building. Oh, there is Rays. I'll get it next time. <laughs> Suddenly, Thomas is like, fuck that thing. You don't like uh, a mascot character dry humping as an action? Be it characters that look like they are mascots or. Hmm, it's an item there. Yeah, that was weird, the whole die. I live, I die, I live again. Yeah, that was weird. But to be fair, a lot of games do that. You're meant to feel sad. I don't. Especially, they want to make it uh, feel sad for characters you barely know, sometimes. Like the start of Final Fantasy XVI, it's like, I don't know those people. Don't worry, 
Thank you. Ouch. I'm getting fucked, Hope. Oh, don't worry, what they're gonna do in the next game is revive Jesse and make you use her. What did I just get? I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I... I wouldn't necessarily call it a joke character. I mean, you could argue Joachim is a joke character in Shadow Hearts 2. Karina is a joke character in 9, although I think you don't, you don't like Karina either, so fair enough. We can win if we stay focused. Yeah, I remember you mentioning not liking Karina either. One of Final Fantasy IX's few issues is some characters just have served no purpose in the story. Karina is one of them, the other being New strategy. Amarant. Oh, you're not a Blue, Blue Mage fan? I think the best implementation of Blue Mage by far is uh, 11, Final Fantasy 11. Blue Mage was so great there. Amaranth comes a bit too late and he um, doesn't really add anything to the story. In 11, um, how many Blue Mage spells? of blue mage spells. There's a lot of them. Wanna say over a hundred? No, maybe not. But basically you have a shit ton of spells you could learn from enemies and um, combining spec you have to set specific number of spells. Each spell has uh, points associated with it and you have a cap. And um, if you combine, if you set multiple spe uh, spells together, they can give your character a trait. A trait could be the ability to dual wield weapons, could be a an attack boost, could be a lot of things. Like refresh, recover MP over time. And it's very flexible as a job.
in some cases you could just play play blue mage as a, a normal caster in some cases you could play blue mage as a melee character and it's very flexible as a job eleven was very willing to experiment with jobs And yeah, um, Zidane fucking him over is basically the, his whole character. And it's one of the few characters that, whose name changed as well, I think, in that game. In Japanese, he was Salamander. I don't know why Salamander. Maybe because his hair is red? Not sure. Also, quick question, uh, which area do you think represents Final Fantasy IX in Stranger of Paradise? Wouldn't have been my first pick. Yeah, what do you think? Each, each uh, area in Stranger of Paradise is basically taken from a different Final Fantasy game. I know you haven't, which is why I'm think I'm telling you to guess. <laughs> Like if you had to pick, what would you have picked? As I'm saying, they're picking one area from each game and putting it as a mission. Yeah. So close. It definitely wouldn't have been my first pick. On your toes. What about um, dungeons or areas with enemies? They didn't pick um, towns all that much. Thank you. 
They went with the evil forest for nine. Wouldn't have been my first pick. From seven, I think they went with the Maku reactor. Keep a cool head. It was Ifrit's cave. Really not what I would have picked. Just like I planned. I don't know, it's it's memorable in the sense that it was the first area you go to, but is it really iconic? Like if if I show you a fire cave, it could be a lot of other things in the series. Okay, this might be a little tricky. And of course he's dead. What a useless prick. If only says could be a medic. This fucking kid. Now I know why people hate Pope. Absolute piece of shit AI for Hope. Keep the enemy off balance. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> 
heal. He just stands there and then casts one cure after waiting for 10 years. Get rid of the dragon. Two people are low on health. He gets one spell. Calls it a day. He stands around doing nothing way more than other characters. And it makes absolutely no sense. damage is hard. Finally. Just getting started. Hopefully it's something good. And it's still better than getting sharp fangs and bloody hides from another game. Money. Eh.
Hmm, what are we going with? That. It's like Snow is always the closest one to maxing everything out. Okay, she got raise. Do you know what this game needs, Thomas? You know the uh, party swap thing in Shadow Arts 2? Outside co um, combat? That's what it needed. Swap paradigms without opening the menu. So you see an enemy, you're like, okay, I need to start with a different paradigm. You just start with a different paradigm. I don't think L2 does anything outside battle, so I could have used it. Hope, heal, do something. Where this kid is hopeless. Yeah, I never really used it in Shadow Hearts too. The part is work. I guess to an extent it. I wouldn't have taken it out, but I wouldn't have found it too useful either. This useless kid. Heal. Heal. I got him up much earlier. Here. He gets up, stands around, does nothing, gets knocked down, stands around doing nothing again, rinse and repeat. Basically any game where you have to open the menu a lot to do something. You should ask, is there any way to make it less tedious for the player? And usually the answer is yes. I wouldn't have minded an auto Crystarium thing here. There isn't, is there? There isn't. Yeah. There isn't a way to do it. 10 had auto sphere grid. So it seems like a very strange omission over here. Okay, Snow has nothing else to learn. Yeah, I remember that being a thing for Snow. M maxing his Crystarium without getting an expansion.
I'm gonna get to the save point and should I take a break then? I mean, nah, uh, maybe not. I'm not gonna go on for too much longer, I think. Gold bangle, HP 250. Pretty decent, but nah, I like my magic and strength. Wow, four enemies. I thought there was. We can win if we stay focused. I mean, four enemies with a big guy. I thought there were only two, and I was worried about healing. You still don't remember the next boss, Thomas? Because it's up there in terms of the hardest fights in this game, I think. They should add a higher tier cure by this point. Thank you. 230 per cure is nothing. Here. I'm not on Relentless Assault. Yeah, I think I have another battle after this before I get to the save point, assuming I collect all the items. If I don't collect all the items, then I could just... No, well, maybe two battles, not one. There's one. There's two flying over there were part of this group. I can probably farm money over here. But it's fine. Okay, get rid of the destroyers. These are pricks. See, one hit by these enemies is almost 400. Meanwhile, I heal with 230 per cure. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm debating who I should take for the boss. I'm probably gonna need a lot more healing. Might even need two healers. But at the same time, I do want haste. This party would be, I think, suitable enough. I even remember the music for this boss. Why is she here? Oh, there's another item. I might just go with this party. Saz has faith, bravery, and haste. Haste being the most important one. But hope can be a healer. Medic, medic, sentinel. I'm gonna start with this. No, how about doing diversity initially? I think that's a the right choice at the start. This sucks. Why does the menu not scroll if you press left or right? See, there is still an arrow on the right. I should be able to. Alright. Let's... Oh god. Well, here it goes. Been looking for you, Nabot. <laughs> huh. 
Your Eminence, please escape. I'll cover your retreat. Why don't you leave, Jill? Or rather, take your leave. Humans have no business here. What? Your Eminence! What? Magic? <laughs> Monster! People are not yours to use! What else does one do with tools? Please, no. Cocoon is a factory built by Falsi. A factory for the mass production of human forms. A lot of people hated the fact that Jill was just cast away in one cutscene without a single fight against her. On one hand, I understand they did make her to be evil, at least you'd think you'd fight her. On the other hand, she's just a normal human. Is she going to pose much of a challenge against us? Not really. Not anymore, it's not. What can mere men do? Without our help, death is all of which you're capable. You saw the fools. Mindless mob drunk on fear of a few Lassie. Whose nails? If they only knew, a Lassie was the one filling their glasses. Lassie. Lassie? <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> I just noticed he's blonde. Oh, child, perish the thought. I am more than that. I am Fancy. My name is Martandalus, voice of the Sanctum and Lord Sovereign of the Cocoon Falci. Your kind feared the darkness, so we gave you light. You begged us for the purge, and did it not come to pass? Oh, this theme. You spurn our counsel. You must learn your place! Welcome to one of the more annoying fights in this game. It's a huge step up in difficulty, if I remember correctly. Nothing to you. This is the power of the Oh, hold on. I'm gonna use Libra Scope on everyone. Alright, so it absorbs fire. Each one absorbs a different thing. I think I use Libra Scope. Yeah, we just need to destroy the ads before getting fucked by him. And yes, that owl that's been watching us throughout the game is him. I could probably hit buff, but no, I'm just trying to take them down before they take me down. Then I'm probably gonna try and buff and debuff. Fewer targets would help. I remember playing this um, theme in Hate Rhythm on the DS. 3DS. I should play the one they release on the Switch. Okay, so far it's going well. I saw that on the ground and I was like, AOE attack? 
should step away from it. So far they're not hurting as much as the normal enemies. My stagger's gauge still went down very quickly. I don't know how what determines if it slows down or not. Sometimes it just doesn't slow down much. Hope, heal yourself. Control your hormones, teenager. killing this thing several times when I first played it. I don't remember fighting it when I played this game the second time around. Alright, time to buff and debuff. Go on your own, buddy. ganged up as soon as he started doing that attack. It's not deep off at all. Not the best um, setup. He's slowed, but that's about it. I don't think Curse takes on him. Should work. Okay, it does work. Right, diversity again. Relentless Assault. <laughs> that didn't hurt much. Yes, yeah, low helped. I need to build up his dagger gauge fast with this attack to interrupt it. Yep. Some more. Yeah, 
Holy shit. Just like that. Right, I need to tee you off to the first interrupt. Yeah, I think the problem is most people don't realize you can interrupt that action a little bit and weaken it. And that results in people trying to defend and getting fucked over. And yes, it's a kind of a long fight. It is a long fight. Cocoon's nothing to you. Oh, hold on. Te not technique. Libroscope. I'm using Libroscope as opposed to the technique because this one would actually target all enemies. Otherwise, the auto attack is not going to select the white elements. Yeah, Jill is dead unceremoniously. And it's funny how two people who have not played this game they're like, oh, I like Jill, Sniper, and Fred. I wonder what they'll say now that they know she's just dead without fighting her. Of your place. I did set up Fred's expectation that we're gonna fight her at the end of this chapter. I said, she, I said she's gonna get some spanking. Well, she did, but not by me. She's basically presented as the first real antagonist in a way, her and Rosh, but Rosh gets gone down in his second cutscene. Which is really weird. But then again, as I said, they're humans. Are they really gonna be much of a threat to us? I know you can fight her in the DLC in Final Fantasy XIII 2, in the Colosseum, but that's about it. Fun fact, in Dissidia on the mobile, she's one of the characters you can use. Meanwhile, Riku, Red 13 are not playable. Attack the other thing. Attacking me with thunder. Because it's hurting both lightning and fang and knocking them to the ground. Lightning could just spam water from a distance and we'd avoid that problem. Even odds. CEO. Four cures, not one. <laughs> oh, 
hope cast bail thank you and the saboteur completely stops attacking because both of our debuffs are on the target we just cast it already Yeah, you're gonna be hearing Submit a lot. Not as much as Kingdom Hearts, but still. And yes, she calls him by name as you swap. A relentless assault. Oh, curse is gone. And no, you don't interrupt his casting, even if he's staggered. Clinic, heal, heal. Thanks. So far, so good. Interrupt that. Yeah, thirteen HP. Combat clinic, heal, heal, heal. Even odds. Got a rebuff. clinic 
so far, so good. Is he weak to... no, he's not weak to anything. Oh, his slow is gone. I'm not gonna debuff now. I'm gonna wait until my buffs are gone. Is he gonna smile now? I think we can beat him. Yeah, we should be fine. That thing resets the stagger gauge. And that's why it sucks as well. Oh, keep casting. Let's go. Okay, we need to heal. Okay, just die. Okay, we killed it. I took almost 11 minutes. <laughs> And the target time was 7 minutes something. Yeah, it is rough. Mysterium expanded! I would say this is one of the hardest three bosses, if I remember correctly. Then, I guess it wasn't Eden controlling things after all. As I said. Ah! His second form is harder, and that's probably either the second or hardest fight in the game. I am Lord Sovereign. Guess Foul C don't go down as easy as the rest of us. Ease is not the issue. You have not fought to win. I almost said it first try though. You know quite well already the sure way of dispatching our kind. Ragnarok. And don't worry, the boss of the next chapter is also tricky. Pitiful was seen. You've forgotten your focus. Ragnarok is the beast one of you must become in order to lay waste to Cocoon. You have had the dream. One among you will become that monstrosity. Defeat Orphan and destroy Cocoon. Orphan? The this guy hates orphans. Power. Orphan fuels Eden with strength, and Eden in turn sustains you and the rest of our kind. Destroy Orphan, and you'll release a force such as this world has never seen. Cocoon will be torn asunder. <laughs> so if I did that, destroy it often. <laughs> Your focus will be fulfilled. So what? Who says it has to be? <laughs> Sarah asked us to save Cocoon before she turned to crystal. Save it, and that's what we're gonna do. Sarah was trying to tell us how to complete our focus, and we have... <laughs> Allow me to help you see the truth of things. The moment you arrived, your friend wept crystal tears. This was because her focus required that you be brought together. That girl did nothing but assemble the tools for Cocoon's destruction. Did it never occur to you? Or did you simply refuse to countenance the thought? If you will not face the truth, then face the peril of your plight.
run let's see see how stark reality is can Blanco do this Shiro get bigger and transform into an airship I guess not Rosh is alive, so he didn't die unceremoniously in his second cutscene. Hang on! Yeah, I knew he was alive, but I didn't say it. Not to spoil anyone. Business. Wait a minute, his name is Yag Rosh. Like Yag Rush, the the weapon that's also in Final Fantasies. I never really made the connection. It was a staff in a few games. In 14 it's a staff. Or it's club, I guess. In 11, it was also a, a weapon. I guess Yag Bosch is, in a way, he's named the same as the club. It never, I never connected it. Clever, aren't you? Still hearing the motif for Barth Handler's uh, music. Nine Eleven was a fun fantasy job. And we can save. Chapter 9, done. That was one of the longer chapters, in a way. Ah, this is the area I remember, in a way, I think. Um... You know what, now it's a good time as any to stop for the night. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm gonna do a full stream. But yeah, chapter 9 complete. We're in chapter 10 now. And um, still have a couple of chapters left in the game. We are 20 hours in, but I think basically from next chapter onwards, we can spend a lot longer on the game. Like more than several times the amount of time we spent so far. I think we could reach 100 hours if I do want to do everything. I've never done everything in this game. Maybe I will. But yeah, that is it for me tonight. Is there anyone I could raid? No, let's raid... Um, let's raid Zack. He's streaming Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. And you know how much I love Star Wars. <laughs> 